Hi, I'm Tony Fleming and welcome to Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Everybody, thanks for joining us on today's episode of I Should Have Bought It When I Saw It. Anyway, we're talking about a 66 427 Corvette. Everybody has a Corvette story. If you would, subscribe below, hit the like button, help us send you some new videos that are coming out. You get some fresh stuff that nobody else will get, and you'll be in the game and in the know right now. Anyway, let's take a walk around this car. One of the things I love so much about these is the style of them. So a lot of times people will say, wow, that's a great looking car, but they don't really know why it's a great looking car. Let's take a minute. Let's look at this car. Let's see what we have and find out why this is probably one of the greatest designs ever and why they continue to go up in value year after year. All right, let's start with uh, the one year only engine, 427, 425 real deal horsepower. You say, well, you know what? The Chevelle's had 450 horsepower and what have you. You're right. The Chevelle had a little more horsepower, but also weighed a thousand pounds more. These are light independent rears. They are so ridiculously fast. If you've never driven one and rode that four speed shifter through here, you have not experienced it. Let's look at the knockoff wheels with the gold line tires. One year only for the gold line tires. You can decide whether it's supposed to be on the car or not. Maybe you'd rather have red line tires. Those are the kinds of things that you can make for choices of your own. But in this case here, uh, let's talk about paint because paint's the most important because that's where a lot of the time you will be walking up to your car smiling going, man, God, that car is good looking. So as you can see, each word, nice crystal clear, correct 976 Nassau blue paint, this fabulous bulge hood. Look at this hood. This hood says that there's something under here, something lurking under here that's different than the other flat hooded Corvettes, right? You can clearly see that. So why don't we do that? Let's take a peek under the hood and see what the motivational force is all about. So let's take a peek under here and let's see what we got because this right here is where a lot of the value of the vehicle is tied into. We have some GM hoses on there. We have uh, the correct painting of the exhaust manifolds, little tiny detail stuff like this. These are ignition shielded wires, right? And they're grounded as well so that you couldn't get the feedback through the radio that you would get back in the day, all right? Detail stuff, like you see these, these are actually uh, spot welds for the oil drippers in there to keep the oil from splashing up if you were putting oil in it or what have you. The correct clutch fan that's on here, little detail stuff like that. This actually is the wrong color. Just point that out. But we do have our ignition shielding and we do have a pretty authentic, pretty authentic uh, engine compartment with a matching numbers engine as well. So it's hard to believe that, uh, you know, 60 years later that this engine in this car is still the original one at this high performance version. All right, so come join me inside here for a minute, but I want to show you back here how beautiful the back of this car is. First off, there's an enormous amount of room, but this is all beautifully detailed. You can throw a couple bags back there, go away for the weekend. Can you imagine what the trip would be like headed out for the weekend in something like this versus, say, your minivan? Okay, just kidding. Just kidding. We all have to have something to, as our daily drivers. All right, so we get in here and look. My feeling is that they built this car just like this. They gave a guy a steering wheel, guy or gal, so they gave a person a steering wheel, right? Put a shifter in his hand, and then they built the entire car around him. Your arm fits perfectly right here. All these gauges are right in your face, a 7,000 RPM tech, 160 mile an hour speedometer, circa 1966, right? Wonder Bar radio, still in place. Console, full gauges all over. This is a beautifully, beautifully done interior. 
I love the blue on the blue. Just so nice and fresh looking. The black camera style dash uh, just adds a nice touch. This is a real teak wheel. And that's why I was talking about all those options, you know. This right here, the AM FM stereo. Maybe it's not a Wonder Bar stereo that's this year, sorry. But uh, AM FM stereo, uh, the knockoff wheels, the side pipes, all these little tiny things. That's what makes the car look so great. When you see it in a picture, you go, wow, that's a great looking car. Now you know why. I wanted to talk about this section of the car right here because there's so much going on. First off, that hood. That hood is just says power, the power bulge hood. It just looks like it. Knock off wheels here, right? With that, it's so much better looking than a rally wheel on the car. It's just amazing. These right here are the radial version of the gold line tires that you would have got circa back in the 60s, right? Red lines, gold lines, those kinds of things. And uh, having the radial makes the car drive 50% better. Throw in the side pipes here, the sound is spectacular, man. You're rowing the shifter, engines rising and falling in between the gears, the sound's coming out the side, it is perfection. This is the shot, right? First off, these cars were fast, and this is what a lot of people saw, because you don't realize how light these cars really are. You forget about that. Today's modern Corvette is, all, is lighter than a Porsche 911, which is very surprising. These are very light with a big engine in there, and this is a lot of what people saw. But forget all that for a second. When you're riding down the road, when people see these cars, there is no mistaking what this car is. No one's ever going to say, is that a GTO, or is that uh, a Toyota Camry, or is it, uh, right? You're always going to know this right here is genuine Corvette. All right, so we close up this video. This right here, we're talking about a correct color car. We're talking about a matching numbers car. We're talking about a car with great options and features like the knockoff wheels, the side pipes, the teak wheel, the four speed. You know, these things didn't all come standard on these cars. This is a very well equipped car, not to mention a beautiful restoration. I'd love to hear your comments below. Tell us about one that you rode in, or maybe a friend that had a car like this, or the sounds that you love about a Corvette, or uh, your dreams of getting one. And we'll work out and make, that, make sure that happens. So anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it. We'll turn this uh, into this.